oh, will you look at that? So it's actually just peeling right off. Um, <laughs> and it's bringing the coat that was underneath it with it. <laughs> so that's pretty hilarious and kind of funny. So I'm going to keep doing that. And it looks like I'll be able to start these all over again. I think I might try sanding this because, um, like, it's not doing it on the raw sides, right? But this finished edge here, it, uh, that's what's peeling, it's peeling right off of there. That's hilarious. Anyway, I'll be back. And here is one of those pieces that I actually just poured it last night, so it's not too surprising that I was able to just peel it right off, but I'm sure it has something to do with the consistency of the um, MDF board. You know, I did it on the smooth side as opposed to on the rough side. So today what I've done is I've taken that same piece and uh, you can see on this one, here's another one here too, but what I did was I took some of that accent base paint that I had and just put a coat of that on and as you can see it dried pretty much clear. So that's fabulous. Um, Anyway, and I have coated with white, and I'm going to go ahead and um, create some kind of a pattern here, and then we're going to dip it with a paper towel. So, let's pour some paint. Oh, and welcome, by the way, if I haven't said that already. If I have, um, sorry, but welcome anyway. tell you what colors I have here. I have, these are my pigment colors again, and I have the neon blue, the blue ultramarine, the probably the pink ultramarine, and then the hydrated green chrome oxide, and then I also have a Crayola silver, and I have my white um, uh, that I used for my base. And that is my own custom white that I made up with my titanium dioxide and my almost clear base paint um, that I had to spend like an hour today remixing with my little mini blender because I left kernels in it. And so I had to get rid of those. Anyway, uh, those are the colors I'm using and I'm going to go back to my design now.
Liquitex fluorescent green and some of my green chrome oxide just for some leaves. And now I'm going to spray a paper towel with some water just to get it damp. And I'm going to lay this down here. I don't know, I maybe should have used a darker color than that pink. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see. I should have maybe used a red instead. I don't know. What do you think? Well, I guess we can't really tell until we pick it up, can we? <laughs> it's always a surprise. We can only hope <laughs> that it actually turns out. So let's see, what is it? It's uh, February 10th today. I think. Okay. I think that's, I think I've gotten everywhere. I hope I've gotten everywhere. It really does make a difference in whether or not you're, you don't want to do it too hard, but you do want to make sure that all your paint is kind of spread out a little bit. I don't know. I had issues with my ones yesterday that I think I left the paint too thick, maybe. Anyway, here we go. We'll start with these corners. And then we'll bring these corners. Oh, and look at that. I'm peeling up all that from the edges. I'll take these. And these. And these. And ow, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. <laughs> Ew. I wonder, where's my blower? No, I peeled all of the color off, apparently, <laughs> with my paper towel. My goodness, well that's disappointing. I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm going to just do a puddle and a Dutch pour in the middle. Let's see what happens if I do that.
that's pretty spectacular, if I do say so myself. Some of those colors are really cool. Now, it's still, you know, even though I spent like an hour mixing that paint, remixing that paint, I've still got little bumps and little flecks of paint in it. I'm wondering or hoping, I guess, that if maybe if I resin it, you won't be able to tell that there's little bumps on it. I don't know. Has anyone else run into that using pigments? I thought I had gotten rid of them all yesterday, and it felt like I had gotten rid of them all, but when it dries, they're coming out again. So that's kind of irritating. Um, because I really love the design on that, and the colors are just beautiful, but I don't know about the lumps. Anyway, if you've experienced this using pigments, let me know, and let me know what you did to prevent it. It's weird, because it's only in the white, right? It's not in my other pigments and my other oxides. None of them are leaving bumps like that, so... Not entirely sure why the white did it, but anyway, back to the drawing board, or the pouring board, I guess, as the case may be. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day, and take care of you. Bye now.